Automated translation is one of the oldest uh, technologies in artificial intelligence. People have been working on it since the 1950s. Uh, and enormous amounts of money and manpower and energy have gone into trying to make automated translation work. Um, but it really only started to work this century. And actually, at the turn of the century, um, reliable automated translation still felt like it was a couple of decades away to translate reliably from one language to another is a very difficult thing to do. You can't just go into a dictionary and look up a word and then translate that word and then look up the next word. You just get nonsense if you try and do it that way. So it seems that to try to, for example, translate from French to English, you've got to be able to understand something about French culture and French idiom and so on and be able to pick out exactly the right English idioms to match the French idioms. It's a very difficult challenge. But it started to work. Around about 15 years ago, we saw rapid progress in automated translation tools. I'm just giving it a simple phrase. It's actually the title of my book, The Road to Conscious Machines. And I'm asking it to translate it to French. La route vers des machines conscientes. So we could dig into where the limitations of automated translation tools are. There are lots of limitations to them. You're not going to go and get um, Harry Potter reliably translated at the moment. Um, but for an enormous number of everyday tasks, this is just as much as you need. You can certainly translate a newspaper article and understand it well enough. They are an incredibly powerful tool in the hands of everybody. Uh, and I, say, I think a lot of people don't even realize this is AI, and this is classic AI. La route vers des machines conscientes.